test testicles. Testing the testicles. Testing them. Seamstresses. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Drunk Duck Quackcast. This is Quackcast number 412. I'm Ozone Ocean and with me is the, the incomparable Baines. And thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And the even more. Um, Hello. Oh, sorry. Incomprehensible. Good no. face. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we got the, these two amazing people on the crack guys. You can't have Tarns because Tarns is sick, so. I get better Tarns. The inconsequential base. <laughs> the invincible in, base. In, in, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fighting against the intractable. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah. Intractable. Oh god. So we're, we're going to be talking. Go about ahead. This beginning is annoying. Yeah, but let's go. Hiatuses. <laughs> the hiatuses, which is oh my goodness, a terrible subject, but it's something inspired by the marvelous Emilius and her. You know, you you'll know her as uh, the. Genius behind Charlie the Vampire, Unlife is Unfair, um, Night School, and a whole lot of other comics. She's just uh, brilliant, and she does our news posts on Sunday. So, yes, it's inspired by her magnificent news post, which was very popular because everybody sort of uh, has experience of it, because everybody's read comics that have gone on a hiatus, and sometimes they have made their own comics go on hiatus, so it happens. Read that news post. I will link to it in this crack cast. Right. So before we get into that, we have to do the feature. So the featured comic this week was something that Kwai Degakse has reviewed, and it was called Comic Space Repair Garage. Oh, sorry. It wasn't called Comic Space Repair Garage. It was called Repair Space Repair Garage. So take it away, Kwai, with that. Hello, this is Kwai Daigakuse, and the feature I've selected for this week is Space Repair Garage, the comic by Ninja Bait, and it is rated E for everyone. Have you ever spent countless hours playing with toys and making up stories of many little adventures? The inspiration behind Space Repair Garage, the comic, was Ninja Bait's own personal Lego collection and the original stories written about them. The best part is that a lot of the art is hand-drawn with the style of a draftsman. There are some Star Wars references within a very original storyline. The art is drawn in horizontal four-panel comic strips like traditional newspaper comics, and all the fonts use hand-lettered writing. All the comics are in black and white. This comic has reached over 60 pages and updates Wednesdays and Fridays. Get a rocket ready for takeoff and read Space Repair Garage, the comic by Ninja Bait. And that was our feature. Thank you for that good old Kawaii Gokusei with your lovely mellifluous tones reading out that in your very calm voice. So next up we have the featured music. Gum Wallace gave us this uh, this perfect track. I think it was about um, uh, Wednesday, I think, when he gave it to me. He gifted me this, this beautiful track. It's the Mediocrity Simulator, which is such an interesting name for a comic, isn't it? I should move this microphone closer because I sound like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Okay, that's better. Keep throat it. There you go. <laughs> Mediocrity Simulator. Life in the big city is a slow, dull crawl. The gears of capitalism grind on inevitably, regardless, crushing all that falls between their cold, uncaring, mechanical teeth. Grow up, go to school, get a job, become part of the machine. Days stretch to infinity. Take it away, Gum Wallace, with Mediocrity Simulator. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was the Mediocrity Simulator. Gum Wallace, thank you very much. The comic is, of course, by Function Creep, and it's rated A. Oh, my God, this is an A-rated comic. So, yeah, uh, beware. <laughs> okay, back to the quack cast. Hiatuses. You guys, have you ever put your comic on hiatus? Yes. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh. What, officially? Like, you've told Indeed. people... Okay, guys, I'm sorry. This comic is on hiatus. It'll be back, but in the meantime, do something else. Like that? <sighs> no, I mean, not announced it formally, but I like the better part of a year, literally 10 or 11 months last year, I was on hiatus. But you didn't tell anybody. Well, I sort of said, I- I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back. So I, I did it even worse. I mean, effectively, I did go on hiatus because, right. like, I mean, if you say it's a hiatus, but you're leaving forever, no, I didn't do that because I'm back doing pages now. But, uh, um, yeah, I, I sort of risked losing all readers. Yeah, with uh, the length of the hiatus. Um, Oh, they're bad. I mean, I did go on. I didn't announce it as a hiatus, but I did go on hiatus. And when my new page came back, the title (laughs) of the page was, which was, was uh, funny. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yes, the title was "Oh Hiatus." So retroactively, it's like, yeah, I was on hiatus. I don't think it's it's that's so bad. I mean. With Pinky TA and you know, Bottomless Waitress and stuff I work on, I just stopped doing it for a while, but I never say I'm on hiatus because I'm not. In my head, I'm still working on it. I'm just taking forever to do it. Even when I'm not working on it, I'm still thinking about it. And I'm, I'm not mentally thinking that it is a hiatus. Even if it took like a year, I'd, I still wouldn't think of that as a hiatus. I would think of that as like, uh, it's... it's I'm still okay. working on it. So yeah, that's So you'd say like actually saying I'm like you say you're coming back but then you don't. That's that's what we're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I mean Char Charby. Her name's not Charby. Her name is Amelia or Amy. She made a fantastic news post about hiatus from a reader perspective, which is yeah, something you experience far more, I think, than you know your own comic being on hiatus is reading some other comic, especially if you look at Quail's Random and finding, oh god, there never were any other pages because they went on hiatus and they never came out of hiatus, and it's been six years now, and that's not changed, so that's not coming back. And I, f- I really love the, this post because it, it has that reader perspective. You know, that, that mm-hmm. experience of wanting a comic to come back. Especially as I do, like, feature comics, you know, every second week. And I've been doing those for years now, featured comics. And so I have this gigantic list of comics that I want to feature. And I go through them sometimes. Because there's too many comics to feature on the list, so some of them just never never get featured. Because when I go back to them to check them out, I see, oh, this comic went this comic went on hiatus four years ago and it's never updated since. It's so disappointing because I, I love this comic, it was so fantastic, I had so much promise and I would have featured it and it would have got extra readers and stuff, but they stopped it then and I, you know, didn't get around to it in time. Unfortunately. So, yeah, I experience hiatuses a lot, and it's not pleasant. How about, yeah. how about you, Pitsy? Um, experience with hiatuses from either end? Oh, a bit of dead air there. There's no Pitsy. Was she muted? Or... No. No sound coming out. Yeah. She's, she's on hiatus at the moment. Pitt's on hiatus. So we'll move on. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
from a reader's perspective, it is very annoying. Oh, she's going to come back. Okay, so we're going to be reading out some of the great contributions that um, people have had to this news post because this has been a rather popular news post, actually. There have been a lot of people who have had uh, quite a reaction to this one. So it's worth taking that on board. I'm a bit disturbed by Pitt going on hiatus like that. It's just far too poetic for the for that to yes. happen. So who have we got first? Oh my god, it's Bravo. Would you like to be the Bravo for us? Mr. Bravo, who says Bravo, of course, of many uh, comics, uh, mostly photo comics or all photo comics here all on, on the hiatus Interstellar now. Bloodbeat. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. I think he's doing uh, the King of Swords yeah, yeah. still. Ouch, says Bravo. That hit right between the eyes. I use the word indefinite because I'm not certain how long the pause will be. I'm being optimistic and saying it's a pause in production. And the other things I'm doing are very minimalist compared to the epic. Right now, I'm down to going three, four panel strips. Three to four panel strips. The epic needs time in the subconscious for things to fill in and coalesce. Too many frustrations piled upon one another. So I put it aside to clear the head and think. Maybe it'll work better another medium. So, so many variables that just multiplied until work just becomes impossible. Okay, subconscious, fill in the holes while I waste time on these other small worthless projects. <laughs> Bravo. That's uh, classic Bravo. <laughs> Mr. Self-Depreciation. Yes. Well, of course, this whole news post was actually aimed at Bravo. Because that's what... That's what. Every, that's right. We have this sort of secret agreement that, you know, we're always going to be secretly criticized. <laughs> and, well, actually, Tan Serene did a great post today about... Um, the long form project and how to prepare yourself so you can maintain oh, your interest and yeah. maintain your output. Yeah. The marathon. Yeah. Kind of ties into this post. That's worth looking at too. Yeah. That is the other. So side. next we have. Yes. Oh, next we have ha papo. Ha papo. Yeah. Okay. So what was that voice I was doing before? haters it was like sort of a uh yeah yeah, yeah. okay so, so <laughs> hapapo hapapo now hapapo did uh like punk pink which was i really like that comic i featured it ages ago and hapapo has got a lot of other stuff as well punk panic it's called cool. oh no she did do punk pink and she did punk panic and i don't know if hapapo is a woman but that's how i imagine hapapo in my head uh, Wasteland Girl Rune Spark. So that's four really good comics you should check out. Okay, so now we've bigged up Hop Hop. <laughs> now I'm going to do her voice. Again, I don't know she's a she, but she says, I notice <laughs> you, <laughs> you kind of segued into the topic I brought up earlier. In their forums about update schedules and how they shouldn't be necessary, so I'll count that as a point for team update whenever or oh, low. In all seriousness, though, I think both our points are part of a larger syndrome webcomic has faced in that the beginning we treated like business model tell ourselves we're going to do exactly these things for this amount of time each week but then ultimately the thought of continuing this routine day in day out weighs on us we take a break thinking we'll just rest up and give it a second go with pretty much the same results only to get even more burnout the feeling of being a normal life is more inviting and we ultimately just let it fall to the wayside i'm mostly going off of my own experiences here 
but I have seen signs from other people suggesting the same thing happens to them. I'm hoping a more relaxed update schedule of whenever can help avoid that. Oh, okay, Hapapa. That's that's a very reasoned post. Yeah. In, in quite a very nice, delicate voice as well. So thank you yes, very much lovely. for that. I, I like the the update whenever thing is sort of what I do. So I don't care about schedules and things. I'm not going to, you know, if I miss, like, whatever, it's, it's not like, oh, my God, I didn't update three times last week. That means my co- people were just not ever going to expect my comic to back come back. I may as well commit seppuku and just... I'm just too embarrassed to ever do a comic again. I managed to just quit, <laughs> which is what some people do, and you do get in that mindset. Right. I mean, yeah, like, you, you're you allowed to update whenever you're able to update, you know? Nobody's saying you have to do this. Yeah. You know, that can be a healthy thing. If you if you're, you find yourself getting obsessed or getting worried about it or stressed out about it, it's like, well... You're allowed. You can you set your own update schedule. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. you're going to get more readers if you update regularly and people can come back and see a new comic. But at the end of the day, you are really more important than your readers, really, because you're the one producing the comic for fun, for free. As most of us do, maybe maybe you do it for money, whatever. But most of us do it for free. And if you're not having fun doing this, then really you, you this is sort of not a worthwhile experience anymore. So don't kill yourself. So it, it's a it's all right to miss update schedules if they really are true fans they'll they'll wait forever that's what happens when people go on indefinite hiatus us poor poor old idiot fans we wait for years for something to come back I'm still waiting for comics to come back years later I know they never will but you know I live in hope so yeah that's what I mean people who are really is. into it. Yeah, people who are really into it will come back. At least some of them will. Um, yeah, I agree. I mean, if you, if you do, if someone does want to do this as a business or turn it into something, I mean, consistent updates, that does matter. You know, you're, you're not going to maintain your same level of readership if, if you're kind of... Oh, yeah. You're going to build really unreliable you know? if you're yeah. regular. You you will yeah. build to a point, so that's a really good idea. But yeah, as an amateur thing, why kill yourself? Exactly. And don't look at it as being some kind of trigger for the end of the comic. It's not. It, it's not like uh, a fail condition. <laughs> it's there are no fail conditions. It's just just keep up with it. All right, so next up we have B-L-N-T Maker. B-L-N-T Maker. All right. Now, B-L-N-T Maker, what does B-L-N-T Maker do? I used to know, but it's been a while. Better luck next time. All right. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Yeah. You're right. Better luck next time. So read that, guys. That's an interesting yeah. uh, name. Okay, so Baines, yeah. do you want to be a nice looking comic? BLNT maker. C. <laughs> bint maker, the maker of bints, says, <laughs> I've been away from the dock for seven years. For me, it is family, work, doctoral studies. I was able to create a buffer, though, which I'm slowly rolling out. I get concerned with people who have serious life concerns, health concerns, even death. It was surreal to come back and see 75% of my favorites on hiatus as far back as 2011. Love the new stuff, though. Great post here. Oh, wow. That's interesting, yeah. I... 
I knew I hadn't um, seen that name around in a in a while. Yeah, so um, B- Bintmarker, which is how we sort of think of the name, has actually come back. Fantastic. Awesome. Coming off hiatus. Yes, but it's, it's very sad. But that's what happens, you know, on any webcomic site. If you have a lot of favorites or whatever, you know, some kind of reading list, they will drop off over time. That That's just how it is. Because mm. most people can't keep on continuing with their work, you know, as a long form thing. It's very rare. Like Pinky TA, yes, that does, because I'm so casual about it. But a lot of other comics, no. So you have to have a, a very casual kind of uh, attitude towards it, I think. Or super dedicated, either one of those things. All right, next up we have Just No Point. Who does Fight and the Devil Legacy. <laughs> All right. So Just No Point says, oh, what voice should I do? Maybe Jamaican. I'll try that. White Jamaican. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay. I'll, I'll give that a go. Oh, how do they talk? I just, I just let, I just left due to not being able to juggle. Oh, jeez. I can't do it. I have to actually listen to the voice until to get it. Don't you have that? <laughs> Sometimes you can, and you can yeah. do it perfectly, but I need yeah. practice. Uh, so what voice should I choose? I really <laughs> do. I don't want to do his voice because that's really bad. You should never imitate the person who. <laughs> no, oh, right? Yeah, we heard just no points. Awesome uh, accent. And oh, voice is not very cool. He's got a magnificent voice. I think we should have him on as a guest again because I For love sure. his voice. Um, all right. So I have to give him a voice. All right. My standard British, but I didn't want to do to step on your toes of doing the British, which is what you've just done. So, okay. Cockney <laughs> is what it is. Or I can't even do Cockney. Oh, maybe I can. <laughs> <laughs> I. I left due to not being able to juggle my comic and a baby. If I'm not producing at a certain pace and standard, I start getting bothered by it. And I didn't want to feel the same way because of my life and my little boy. I didn't say it was a hiatus, so I honestly didn't know. If I'd come back, but now he's in school, so I have time to make more pages and build a buffer again to win back trust from my readers. I wish to return with three issues of a buffer ready to upload so they know that it won't stop abruptly again. So, yeah. That was more Michael Caine than anything else, unfortunately, because I can't stick to an accent that I haven't practiced. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Michael Caine. Good. Uh, yeah, that's that's like with me. I mean, I have a schedule update schedule, but you could consider an, up, uh, an hiatus if I don't update for all, but I don't think that is a hiatus. Oh, hello, Pitsy. Pits, Pits is off hiatus now. Can She's you hear me? Back. We can. Yep. Oh, happy day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> it's always a Just happy needed day. needed a restart, is it? Uh, uh, I don't even. I don't even. I can't even. I don't know. I don't know. I don't oh, want to talk about it. That's all right. So ha- has, uh, should we continue or should we ask you what, uh, has your, have your comics ever gone on a uh, hiatus? The answer is yes. Um, when I was in school, I think I put putrid meat on hiatus once or twice. I can't remember if I've put Blitz up on hiatus. Not talking no, like official hiatuses. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. So I don't think I've officially gone on hiatus for Blitz Off, but I think I have officially gone on hiatus for Putrid Meat before. Yeah, you did at one stage, and you asked uh, Redicon, you, well, not Redicon, you asked certain people, me included, very proud to say, to um, do some guest pages. And it yes. was really cool. Oh, well, that's a good, actually, that's Indeed. a good way to do it. Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah, you can, that's one way you can approach it. It's to, I should sit up closer to the mic. Um, is, you know, to ask for people to fill in or at least, like, supply some filler, if you can. Um, that's not always an option, but oh, keep yeah. people interested and aware and, like, checking up at each update. It's good. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. If it's if it's an update where um you know it's like it's a guest comic, but it's something to read, it gives the guest comicer something to uh it, it gives them a bit of promotion, cross promotion, which is good. So it, especially if it's someone you like and you want to cross promote them, that's fantastic. So it it has that kind of effect and maybe bring in more readers from that person who's doing the guest promotion, you know, so and not the guest promotion, the guest uh, filler. So that, that's a good thing. So that, that works. I would advise against putting up a piece of art that says, Oh, sorry, I'm late. Um, it'll be along because that's a fake update. When people look at that, they think I was expecting an update and I get this. So just don't do it. You're better off. Oh, okay. I've done that. Yeah, it, it's not a good idea. I, I the saying in, in the comments say I'm sorry guys, there'll be a page along or showing like a, a sketch version of your page to show you're actually doing it, you know. That that works. We we often think of that as being like, Oh my god, I I can't show them that's like it's like me in my underwear, you know, that's like showing my, my page half dressed. But that shows progress and people think, oh, there is something coming along. I can look forward to this. I'll check back. So, yeah, that's a good idea, but don't put up the, like, oh, I'm working on it because that's just a cock block. You look at that and think, oh, God, I was expecting something, and that's just uh, nothing. <laughs> I, well, I haven't done that exactly. What I did was I had one of the characters talking to the audience. Yeah, but a, when, when say, people read yeah, that, they busy, think... But I think you're still... Yeah. yeah. When people read that, they think, if you took the time to do that, why don't you just do a page? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good point. I didn't really think of that at the time, but yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes the reason for a hiatus isn't just because you don't have time to draw. No, like, no, you no. might be getting more of the story together. Oh, yeah, that for a hiatus, yeah. we're not talking about that at this stage. We're talking about... um. Uh, the comic page is late. One of those things, and people put up a page. Oh, somewhere. gotcha. Okay. But yeah. So hiatus is a different, longer term thing, rather than like I missed the update. Sorry, guys, I'm working on it. <coughs> so next up, we have used books. Pitsy, have you got the the hiatus thing up there? Uh, give me a second. Do you want to link to it? I've got it. Just let me... It's going to take a second. No, that's all right. right. Uh, it's coming up quicker than I thought. Usually everything's lagging when we have the chat thing open. My computer is just trying not to spontaneously combust right now. <laughs> so, all right. We're to use books. We are. All right. She says, two weeks has been maximum for me, which was when I was traveling out of the country. Every other week, me, the comics are not a responsibility. They are a stress relief. If I go long without producing something, I get depressed. Not because of guilt, but for lack of the stress relief. I stopped drawing my comic strip because, one, I ran out of ideas, and two, suddenly every topic was somehow political, and political nonsense adds stress, as, so it was counterproductive. It was never a hiatus, just a realization that I was done. <laughs> oh interesting yeah whoa yeah certain like uh psychological pressures can stop you from doing pages can't they that's a pretty common thing when you you know you look at various things and you think oh i can't just can't take any more of this stuff 
I think more often I've had hiatuses from like uh, social communication in order to do comics rather than having hiatuses from comics. Right. Like, you know, I'll have a break from Facebook for a while. I'll have a break from commenting on Drunk Duck for a while. Just so you can devote yourself to doing more work and you know, get into things. So that's used books who does used books. That's a comic. And also she does another comic. Um, she's done several science. One. Yeah, yeah. But there's two things she's working on at the moment. Is it the science one? Strange creatures. Um, I think she's working on at the moment. Yeah, that's it. She's working on strange creatures and used books, I think. She, yes, she is. Okay, those are the two main ones. Okay, that's used books. Lovely. Okay, next up we have Lirta. This is a short one. Okay, um, Lothar says, Oh, Baines, you do it. Lothar says, Hey, Bentmaker, I also took a seven year break. <laughs> it's funny we all call him Bentmaker. <laughs> Lothar, Lothar. Did I say marker? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, so Lothar does sexy comics. Which is Lothar's thing. Lothar didn't actually start out doing sexy comics, but that's like all Lothar pretty well does now. Lothar started out doing really cool, trippy, sci-fi, spacey comics, which I really loved and featured once upon a time. But, you know, his his sex comics all sort of tie into it. They have a shared universe, which is really interesting. So, And they're really freaky sex comics. So check out Lothar's work. It's funny on a... To. I'll go on. On Lothar's profile page, there's just all these thumbnails that say NSFW, NSFW, <laughs> NSFW. He's <laughs> really That's clever with that stuff. He's actually paid for the, yeah. the ad. It won't be up when this Quackcast is out, but the the rectangle ad on the, the site. And uh -huh. he said, okay, I don't want a link. I just want to put this ad up. And the other day... <laughs> Oh, it's not up now. But to the other day, he also did did one, and it was a um, what was it? Uh, it yeah, he he did it as a link to PewDiePie. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, PewDiePie. Oh, I saw that. Oh, nice of him to nice of him to help out a small YouTuber. <laughs> yes, it's all the help he can get. That poor guy. Yeah, give him a little boost. So Lothar is an interesting character. I like him. Always have. Okay. Next up, we have... Who? I are working. It's a funny name. I are working. Okay, Pitsy, you can do this. It's a nice short one. Okay. That's good, because I know Reed. <laughs> um, what, which one is it? It's I are working just above Lothar, and that was, of course, just above just uh, used books. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going the wrong way again. Okay. I forget that these go the other way than the forum ones do. Okay. I see it. Um, uh, wait. Okay. A little dialogue and answering a few comments while on hiatus goes a long way with most readers. Yeah, like we were kind of just talking about. That's a good idea. Yeah, answering people's questions, like engaging in um, a di in a communication with your readers, which you can do now because you know they um, it tells people you've actually responded to their comments. So that's a good idea, rather than yeah coming up with that. Uh, Sorry, guys, I'm on hiatus, and then you know, or not communicating at all, which is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's pretty cool um and i are working does not have any comics so just to read so i suppose yeah it's just from the reader perspective and he has no comics because he's he's busy working apparently he, or she from his name yeah. or okay. she all right next up we have jerry jerry and jerry does um god i know jerry's comics lots of comics 
It's about there's a yeah. there's a yeah, fighting lots. one. Yeah, lots of fighting ones yeah. and stuff. Plan Possum, Tales of the Heartless, V O E, Jay's Internet Fight Club. Yeah, that's one I remember. And Anthology of Anfa. So those are Jerry's yep. comics. All right, Jerry. he's a he's a beast at updating this guy. He like keeps all these comics going. Oh yeah, somehow. It's Great guy, wild. Jerry. Nice guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So Jerry said. Uh, I'm, I can't come up with, with a voice so um, I'll just say sometimes I have no choice I have to take a break for a month at times because I work two jobs I always come back though my comics never end so yeah he they never end yeah yeah he's a machine Dude. Good on him for doing that, being so dedicated yep. and just keeping on coming back. Good yeah. on you, man. All right, next up we have Bravo again. Bravo again. Bravo. Who still, I think, yeah. does the same comics we talked about five minutes ago. <laughs> I haven't checked again. But... <laughs> he might have gone ahead. But he says, you know, it's possible, yeah. He's like, you know, a glance at my comics page shows the wild ride I've had. I did an epic that I just couldn't get through twice. <laughs> but I've completed five other comics, each over 100 pages. And there have been hiatus forced upon me because of time constraints and even computer meltdowns. I don't keep to a regular schedule. Uh, if he says, he probably means, if I don't keep to a regular schedule, pretty soon there's no comic. I need schedules, and it's clinically proven that a regular realistic Goal schedule is the best way to be productive in any endeavor, but it depends on what's realistic for each individual. But the need for that schedule, but the need for that schedule remains. I was in therapy and worked through the crash of the first incarnation of the epic. That's how I came up with the rigid schedule that produced Attack of the Robofemoids and adapted it for the succeeding works. It's what I had to do for stuff to work for me. And it works. So I thought I could resurrect the epic. I was wrong. So, <laughs> indefinite hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> he even changed the title to indefinite hiatus. Oh, God, really? I don't know. No, I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> Go a Viking, Son of Kings. I think that's what he's talking about. That's the epic. All right, yeah. Well, I I featured. I read all the way through as well. So yeah, I know it. I know it well. Next up, we have Boy Faff. What an interesting name, Boy Faff. Yes. Okay, Pitsy. Interesting you avatar it? too. It's kind of yeah. Funny. Yep, all right, I'll go. Oh, we have to Ray talk, Faff. Have to talk about the comics. Okay. Boy Faf does Ray, Ray Gun, Gun yeah. Hot Rod, Sorry, sir. and the Hot Shots. Flips, <laughs> flips are the act or just accidentals and 1946. Yeah. So, wow, the best titles ever. He has stolen them all. No, well, yes. he has not stolen Some them. of these comics are old, They're years old, but he's got a couple. Looks like they're updating now, now oh. still. Ray Gun and Flipside. Cool. So what 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 say you, Pitts? Sure. All right. So Boy Faf um, replies to Bravo by saying, Just keep the faith, buddy. I've recently restarted my Raygun comic after an eight and a half year hiatus. Have put up work on my flip side page, which was created more than four years ago, with big plans, yet was never updated. And in a few months, I'll revive my accidentals, which has been deadish for about five years. This should all be read by everybody, of course. Uh, oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's great when people come back. It is. Yeah. I mean, we think, oh my god, if this, this comic's on hiatus, it's been on hiatus for a while now. Ah, oh, it's never coming back. It never will. But sometimes they surprise you. And years sometimes later. Sometimes they come back. Sometimes they come back. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all buried 
on top of an <laughs> ancient Indian burial ground. And, yeah. Be careful. Yes. All right. Sometimes they Sometimes come back dead again. is better. <laughs> I wanted to say that too so much. <laughs> I thought you were just about to when I started. I'm like, no, I got to say it quicker. I got to say it quicker than he does. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I was waiting for the right time to stick it in somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes dad is better than hiatus. <laughs> oh, no. Look out. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't remember any of his other quotes. <laughs> oh, you want to keep that. those kids <laughs> out of there, Steve? Yeah. Oh, guy's name. Whatever. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> been too long yeah he was one of a kind yeah nice. awesome. was that pet cemetery yeah yeah fred, yeah. Uh, fred so. gwynn yeah oh, fred. yeah that does sound like fred gwynn <laughs> that was him yeah in the original movie monster all right <laughs> that's right okay next up we have easy b oh god it's not easy b at all it's sab but I always think of it Easy B because that's such a great name, isn't it? Yeah. Easy Why B rolls it? off the tongue much more easier than SAB. <laughs> SAB is strange. But yeah, so SAB does, um, SAB Comics presents Fusion and Dude in Distress. So that's Dude in Distress, not Dude in Distress, which I think would be a good <laughs> title as yes. well. <laughs> About Eddie Izzard. Okay, so <laughs> SAB says, "Oh God, I, I I need to do a voice. I just have that need in me." <laughs> Let's do it, Oz. What to do? All, all my good voices that I practice are hard to sort of bring up. Like I have my South African voice. Okay, I'll do my South African voice. Oh my God, oh, that's pretty good. Let's do it. <laughs> My South African voice, that's probably the only thing I can say in it. I agree about giving at least an estimated return date if you go on hiatus. I almost always go between the issues hiatuses. About four weeks for fusion and three to four months for dude in distress. But I still have, I still post some teaser material for miscellaneous world building extras during these breaks. This gives me the time to to decompress, take into consideration any unexpected problems readers might have pointed out for building assets for upcoming content, etc. for communication with our with your readers is key just as good menace. Okay, that didn't really. <laughs> I, I applaud you for seeing it through all the way through, though. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, I actually got some South African there. Okay. <laughs> See, Not bad. The thing about South African is it gets easier the more you do it, but you really can't put in the effort when you're doing a quack cast. So you can't. Just. Yeah. All right, next up we have Dragon Or. Dragon Or, what are Dragon Or's comics? The comic is called Dragon Or. Oh, okay. Crazily enough. That fits. Dragon Or. Really cool style. Dragon like Dragon Or, like the art. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome art, and it also features in Dragon Or's avatar as well. This looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Which is this uh, big lip lady. I don't know if Dragon Or is a man or a lady, but. Whatever. Bates, you be dragging on. Yeah. <laughs> Comicking is hard work. <laughs> if you stop for a moment for any reason, you just might decide it's not worth the effort to restart. It sounds like a commercial in the beginning of this. <laughs> He's about to recommend some kind of product. Maybe it's the way I'm reading it. Anyway, yeah, well, comicing is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> and if you stop for a moment for any reason... You just might decide it's not worth the effort to restart, especially if you're giving away all that work for free. (laughs) That artist doesn't owe anyone anything, though they might damage their rep a bit, but it's worth it for one's mental health. And that's why I smoke. (laughs) Export a king size. No, that's that's not part of it. But yeah. 
Oh, thanks very much for that, Sam Elliott. That was. Uh... Oh, that's what I was going for, man. You made my day. You to really sound appeal on, to appear on this crack cast. <laughs> Maybe you just know me that well. I don't know if it really sounded like him, but that's literally what I wanted to do. Uh, I had a Sam Elliott so feel. That very excited. Cowboy. Right, right. Yeah. Way out west. He's this uh, fellow. Yeah. yeah. Amelia P is our final commenter. Amelia P, who does king's club and a video game based on king's club that's still not released yet because she's still working on it fantastic comica uh pro comica mm. as amelia Wu. if you know you know your comic artists uh pro comic artists uh, look out for amelia Wu as the artist she's also a potato <laughs> she yeah. has a cute little potato in what a uh, scuba no um yeah, diving mask and a uh, snorkel. <laughs> Looking very cute. Uh, when I look at that avatar, I think that looks like she's actually wearing um, like uh, army goggles. You know, like, and I imagine. Yeah. yeah. It, because of like, she's got like the, um, the hair thing underneath or whatever, the diving cap or whatever, but it makes it look like it's like a like a tactical helmet or something exactly yeah i think that potato is about to go to war it's fresh from afghanistan or something <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's gonna hop in a, a humvee and just go out and start you know fighting <laughs> oh jeez. so yeah it's a tactical potato so pits do you want to do amelia p i'll do her all right <laughs> Tenor and amelia cheese. says Amelia says, hmm, I don't know if I missed it in the article, but I think some creators give up on their projects because the lack of motivation. No readers or because someone could have been mean to them in the comments. Sometimes young or new authors don't have the thick skin to say, fuck off to mean people. It's <laughs> a good point, too. Yeah, people get, like, disheartened. or Yeah, they yeah, get down Absolutely. They get, uh, yeah, they lose hope, all hope, and they commit comic suicide. It's sad. Don't be mean to people. It's sad. Yeah, there are a lot of reasons for hiatuses or hiatus I. I don't know. Hey, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> yeah, that would probably what it is. Hiatus I. <laughs> See, Pitt is our academic. She's, you know, she's got the qualifications. I got a master's degree. Yeah. She shows it. All right. So, thanks very much for that, Amelia. Um, That's all the contributions we have. We actually have a couple more on the Facebook, but I'm not going to ask you guys to go and search for that. This has been an interesting topic. A high eight high are rather annoying when you come across them, but even though they are annoying, they're inevitable, it's going to happen, and you have to accept it. People are going to quit their comics. That's just how it is. Can we blame them for it? Sure. <laughs> but... <laughs> but then again, you know, as a reader, of course you can blame people because you expect new things. You know, you're selfish. You're there for your own entertainment. You're not there to go, oh, yeah, maybe they had to quit because, you know, life got too hard or whatever. You're there thinking, I expect my entertainment. I've, I'm invested in this story and I want it to continue. I want to see what happens. Come on. That's, as a reader, that's how you are. You're a child and you're expecting to have everything delivered to you. But, yeah it happens comics are going to finish we, we have to build up a sort of tolerance against that and move on to other comics and maybe just maybe they will come back if you keep those in your favorites maybe if you check on them every two years whatever maybe they'll come back and that does happen have you guys ever experienced that comics coming back from the dead pet cemetery like more evil than mm. ever. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny you say that because I just couldn't get that out of my head <laughs> ever since we made quoting it there. Um, 
Yeah, man. There's one. There's at least one comic I read, one in particular that I really like, that um, goes on these long hiatuses. I haven't been with it since the beginning. I, I was catching up, so I kind of got to read, you know, a lot of pages in a row, and missed some of these hiatuses. Oh. But uh, he'll have year long almost hiatuses multiple times over the years, and then he. But then it, you know it's. It's just life is busy, I, I assume. I don't know what's causing the hiatuses, but just being busy or being whatever. But he keeps coming back, man. Keeps continuing the story. And uh, it's, it's great. You know, just kind of keep at it. And I'm oh, wow. really glad. Yeah, I love it when that kind it's of called thing called Bottomless happens. Waitress. No, I'm talking about... <laughs> <laughs> uh... No, I'm talking about a different comic. I'm talking about, uh, I think it's called Karen's Edge or okay. something. Oh, that, no, that might not be it. That's another good comic. Or Crater's Edge. I don't Edge. know. It's, yeah, it's some kind of reality jumping kind of storyline. It's really cool. Um, okay. Karen on the Edge. Jeff who lives at home. I don't know. <laughs> like that. Oh, well, that's, that's great. Yeah, I love yeah. it when things come How back. How about yourself? Like that. Yeah. What well, with how, how about you? How about you, Al? It's hard to remember. I've seen so many of them do it, and so many of them not. Um, one of them that I saw, I looked at a long time that I followed was this comic called uh, "The Noob," which was about this guy who. Um, the comic is about a, a role playing game. One of these ones that, like a. Um, uh, more pork that's what you call it. massively multiplayer multiplayer um online role playing game so you know like warcraft you've got all these users and this focused on a noob so this was a first time player and it was going so from his perspective and um everything that he went through you know so he's a noob player so he like marvels at all the fantastic things like that the uh experienced players have and he wants to get up to that level but you know he's stuck fighting cockroaches and rats and stuff like that as <laughs> as happens with noob players but uh he for some reason he lucks through a lot of the stuff and he's seen as some kind of respected player and a lot of these are uh, more uh, higher level players sort of follow him and uh you know he, he gets the ear of these people because he's just sort of lucks through and they think, oh, wow, this guy must be an expert. Maybe he's just pretending to be a noob or whatever. And so that, that made me really follow the comic. and It was interesting. It was fun because of that. And he had the, this female sidekick and uh, it, was, it was really cool. It was done by this um, this girl, I can't remember, Gina something or other. It was a really good comic and I followed it for ages and then it just it went on hiatus for a while and I thought, oh, God, oh, no, this is terrible. And then it came back about like you know a few months later. It was fantastic, and then it went on hiatus for a, a like a year or something, and then it came back. And then a huge disaster happened, and the comic just went offline, and there was no comic site. And then yay, it came back, and now there is. It's just never coming back. It's just been on hiatus for about three years or something. And the noob. Oh, has it been that long? Out. I know I've seen noob. Popping really? up. Uh, Maybe it's come back somewhere it's a different else. Different comic. But on its own website, it's dead. Okay. Not since I've checked, although I haven't checked it for the last, like, I don't know, five weeks or something. Okay. Or longer. So maybe it's come back. I'm not sure. I'm not going to check. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to call anyone out. Yeah, but yeah, so that that was one comic that had come back and and gone away again, and yeah. How about you, Pitsy? Any comics you followed that have gone on hiatus and come back? Not that I can recall. Oh, there might okay. be some, but I just can't recall any off the top of my head. Well, that's a fair enough answer. It's it's a it. rare thing to happen. It's not a normal, you know, usual thing. Most of the time, when a comic goes on a long hiatus. It doesn't come back. That's just how it is. Whether they say the it, magic or not. is gone. Yeah. Uh, thrill is gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 the end. All right. Well, 
thank you very much for being on this Quackcast, guys. And thanks, Amelia, for giving us the topic. So we're going to go on hiatus until next week. <laughs> when we come back. No, it's not hiatus. We, we regularly update every bloody week, so we'll be back. Okay. Thanks very much for being on Quackcast number 412. Pitsy and Baines. Thanks. You're cool. Bye. Thank you. You both cool. You're all right. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye.